the Diamond Brocade Knit Stitch Pattern. Hi guys, I'm Kristen, and thank you for joining me here at Studio Knit, where today we are knitting up this Diamond Brocade Pattern. It's a really elegant design created by a simple series of knits and purls. It's an eight row repeat, and it creates this fashionable textured graphic. It's an easy level project, perfect for all of you who completed my Absolute Beginner Knitting series, and we are just using knits and purls. This is not a reversible pattern because the front, the right side, and the wrong side look different. However, it's a really nice clean look where you can still see that diamond pattern on the back, and I would not mind it being visible in something like a scarf. And for our materials, we are going to be using yarn. You can use any size you'd like, appropriately sized knitting needles. Of course, you want to have scissors and a tapestry needle on hand. If you'd like to know the exact materials I'm using in this video, I will link to those in the description for you. And if you like this pattern and what I do on my channel, please like it up, subscribe. It really helps me out. For the written pattern, you can head on over to my website. I have a link in the description below. The pattern is written out there for you, totally for free. I've also included a knitting chart. So if you'd like to start learning how to read charts, then these simple patterns are a great way to start doing that. This pattern is also included in my Knit Stitch Pattern Book available for purchase over on Etsy. It's a downloadable PDF that you can print out. You also can have it saved on any mobile device or desktop as well. So let's knit it up. We begin with our beloved slip knot. For this pattern, we are going to be casting on our stitches in multiples of eight plus one. So we begin by casting on eight stitches and then you will continue casting on in multiples of eight until you have the number of stitches that you would like on your needle. It is totally your choice. Once you have that, it's the plus one. It's just one last little stitch to finish up the casting on. Just that one right there. Okay, row one. We begin with knit four. So we're knitting four four stitches to begin right here on row one. We'll get that little tail out of the way. And then once we have four stitches, we're going to be knitting between those asterisks and that means we're repeating the pattern all the way down. So we begin with P1, that is purl one stitch. And then this repeat is K7. So we're knitting seven stitches and we continue this pattern of P1, K7, all the way down the row until we have five stitches remaining on our needle. And once we get to that point, it is P1. So we're going to bring our yarn to the front purl one stitch and then finish up row one right here with four knit stitches. So we'll just do it right here. One and two, three and four. P3 is how we start out row two here. So there's three purl stitches one, two, and three. And then we're going to take our yarn to the back to knit, and you'll see the asterisks. It's K1, P1, K1, P5. So we're knitting one stitch, and then we're bringing our yarn to the front, and it is P1, purling one stitch. Then we are knitting one stitch, and then we are purling five more stitches. And this is the repeat pattern that you do all the way down the row. And here on row two, we're going to be doing this repeat until we have six stitches remaining on our needle. And at that point, it is K1, that's knitting one. And then we're going to purl one stitch. And then we're going to knit one stitch. 
And then finishing up row two with P3, that is purling three stitches. Row three, we begin with knitting two stitches. So it's one and two, and then the pattern between the asterisks, that's the repeat, and it's P1, K3. So we bring our yarn to the front for one purl stitch, that's P1, our yarn to the back, and it's knitting three stitches. So this P1, K3, we are going to keep repeating that pattern all the way down the row until we have just three stitches remaining on our needle. And then we finish it up with P1, purling one, and knitting two stitches here to finish up row three. Row four, we begin with a purl stitch. So you'll have your yarn in the front to begin. And then the entire rest of your row is the repeat. So it's K1, that's knit one, bringing our yarn around to the front. And we're going to purl five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. And then K1, we're knitting one stitch. And we are purling one stitch. And we repeat this all the way down to the very end of our row. And let's see how it is knitting up. You can see we're halfway there. We have the little bottom part of the diamond. And row five, we're purling one, and then we are knitting seven. And those are between the asterisks, so that means that we are repeating P1, K7, all the way down the row until we hit one last little stitch is remaining and that will be a purl stitch, purl one. Now our diamond pattern is tapering back up. So row six is actually exactly the same as row four. So you start with the purl one and then you do the stitch pattern between the asterisks right there. Row seven is identical to what we did in row three. So again, we just start with two stitches and then we have the repeat of purl one, knit three, until you get to the last three stitches and then it's just purl one and knit two. Our last row, row eight of our eight row repeat, we are doing exactly what we did on row two. So you just follow the pattern all the way until you finish up row eight. And here is how the eight rows, our little diamond pattern turns out. It looks really pretty. And you just continue repeating those eight rows until your piece is the length that you desire. And I hope you are inspired to knit up this diamond brocade knit stitch pattern. I think it would look stunning if you used it to knit up a pillow or blanket. And even with just one yarn color, it would look really impressive with this texture as part of your home decor. Please check out this video right here next. I think you'll really enjoy it. Of course, please make sure you are subscribed and like up this video. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.